I'll leave you with this one, a bit more family history. This song written for my dad. I'll quickly tell you how I came to, uh, to write the song, because otherwise the title makes no sense. Uh, our daughter Ellie was doing a project at school on the Second World War when she was at primary school. She's 21 and all grown up now. And um, she had to uh, ask somebody who'd been alive at the time some questions. So I suggested she should ring up Grandpa, which she did. A list of questions. Things like, what did you wear? What did you eat? That sort of stuff. And the last one of this was, uh, did anything unusual ever happen to you during the war? And he said, actually, yes. And he launched into a story that I'd never heard before. And um, it was an amazing story, and, and basically if it wasn't for this event, I wouldn't be here, and she wouldn't be here, and Jack and our son wouldn't be here either. Um, and it's, uh, well, I couldn't resist writing a song about it, basically. And he finished telling the story. He said to Ellie, after that, I somehow knew I was going to get through the war. Someone upstairs seemed to think I was okay. So that's what the song is called. Thank you very much for coming out on a, a cold winter's night. And uh, thank you very much for booking me. And a uh, great club. Here we go. Oh. 
on my wingtip, took one on the nose. Crewman bought it, like chum got out, alone in the water. He hadn't a hope, and I hadn't much fuel, but I just couldn't bear to leave him alone. So I put out a call, and then circled around, so it see I was there. Find him so lost and so small. Some poor devils must fly. Some poor devils must fall. And some poor devils never ask why. Or make sense of it all. I fight to stifle my fears.